In 2015, in the month of February, the world watched in horror as 21 Coptic Christians were marched across the seas of Egypt, across the sands there of Egypt, were kneeled down in orange jumpsuits with hands tied behind their backs and a knife put to their throats and in the openness of the world watching, beheaded them in front of everyone. When that event took place, that horrible, horrible barbaric atrocity took place by ISIS. Shortly after that, I said to myself and to this congregation, we've got to do something. I cannot sit here with my hands folded and watch this atrocity take place without a voice somehow. And at that moment, it was dropped in my spirit to commission a traveling exhibition to show people exactly what these atrocities of the attack, not only upon Christians, but upon others that was happening at that particular time and still happens to this day. And for the next five years, we commissioned the 18 wheel tractor trailer rig. We call it the people of the cross. And on the sides of that rig, we put the pictures of the Coptic Christians kneeling down on the shores there of Egypt. And we traveled for the next five years and some 5,000 plus people that went through that exhibition and their lives in many places were changed. When we had the call to go to Dearborn, Michigan by an Assembly of God church to come up there, we were scheduled and they said, you can't come and they canceled us also in Philadelphia, said we cannot come because it will create such havoc by just having that information there. I say this without hesitation because I have seen the pictures, many of you have as well, the video, and I will tell you without a doubt that Hamas and the evil hearts that are behind the barbaric actions against the nation of Israel and Israel's people is worse than what I put inside of that traveling exhibition and traveled around the United States with. Worse. I'd like for him to put the map up of Israel, if they will, please. I want you to see this because what you're looking at is the totality from the north where Lebanon and Syria border the nation of Israel and all the way to the south, Egypt and Jordan, all the way down to the tip. What you're looking at in this small country, the entirety of that landmass is no larger than New Jersey. You could take the entirety of the state, the nation of Israel, and place it inside of Lake Michigan. It is about the equivalent of Northwest Florida from here, from the edge of Pensacola to the other side of Tallahassee to Perry, Florida is about how large Israel is in land. In some places, it's only nine miles wide, nine miles. It is the smallest democracy in the Middle East. It's the only democracy in the Middle East. And what you're watching and what you're seeing right now is an atrocity the likes of which this generation has never witnessed before. Amen. A slaughter, a murder that is biblic of biblical proportion. Now let me say to you a few things. I hope to be able to bring the information from the word of God to you in such a way that you can get a clearer understanding of what's happening. But I'm gonna make some emphatic statements today and I'm not interested in your political opinions or your persuasions or your particular uh, flavor of politics. I'm telling you the facts. The facts are that in recent months there have been six billion 
tax dollars of the American citizens that was given to the terrorist state of Iran, to the leadership of Iran. I want to say this to you. Not all the Iranians are about war and jihad. As sure as not all of what is called Palestinians are about that. But leaders and those that are in authority are pushing the agenda to do one thing. That is not to coexist with Israel. It's not to coexist with Christians. Let's make it plain. It is the annihilation of every infidel regardless. And the Jewish people are at the spear point of all things. Why is this important to you today to hear? Because ladies and gentlemen, we are on the precipice of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And when you see the attack coming against the Jewish people like you're seeing right now, it is the door opening to the return of the Lord Jesus Christ, rest assured. Six, six billion dollars that was given to Iran as hostage payment for five hostages, American hostages, along with returning five prisoners of Iran that America had that went back to Iran. You need to understand that that money, though the United States government has said that they held it for food and medical supplies, surely has made it into the hands of Hamas and Hezbollah and other organizations. But many of you may not be aware that just a couple of weeks ago at the beginning of October, President Biden gave the Hamas leadership in Gaza $75 million of taxpayer money knowing that there was a genocidal attack by Hamas on Israel that was in the works. What I'm telling you now you can find clearly on the internet if you're interested. What I'm finding out also is is that many people are wanting to close their eyes and shut their ears to hear about all that's taking place. Because if I don't hear it and I don't see it, it doesn't exist. But I want to let you know, it does exist. And America and you as the citizens of America will find the repercussions of it in the days that are ahead. I want to make this statement or make this quote from Golda Meir, the, the Prime Minister of Israel, of blessed memory. She makes this incredible statement. When peace comes, we will perhaps in time be able to forgive the Arabs for killing our sons. But it will be harder for us to forgive them for having forced us to kill their sons. Peace will come when the Arabs will love their children more than they hate us.